Welcome to this week's episode of Ask Your Excel Question. In this week's episode, we're going to learn how to assign a resource to multiple projects in capacity planning. We will be using our Resource Capacity Planner Excel template, where we will learn how we can assign a single resource to multiple projects and then compare the capacity and the plan at the resource level. So this is our Resource Capacity Planner Excel template. I will provide a link to the product page in the video description below. So now I'm gonna go quickly over what is the purpose of this Resource Capacity Planner before getting into the specific focus of this video. Now this Capacity Planner has a setting sheet where you can define the planning period, create a bunch of projects, and then have some skill groups. And then you can also choose which days are weekends and holidays. And then you can enter the list of resources in your project or in your company. And then you can provide the specific hours that they actually are available to work. And then you can assign them to a skill group and a project and also put a cost per hour. And these are hours are going to be used for calculating the capacity of each resource. And then there is a vacation or overtime sheet where you can enter the uh, time off or if they're doing overtime, you can enter those records or details here. And then the demand is actually where um, the tasks specifically that each resource is going to do will be entered with the date, who's going to do the work, how many hours are they going to do the work. So those are the three important fields. Um, and then there is a dashboard which provides an overview of uh, total capacity, total demand, and is there any, what's the utilization, is there any surplus or deficit, and then also the cost and the dollar side of things. And it'll also say how many resources are overutilized and underutilized in terms of number of hours, and uh, by project, by skill group, and by individual resource. So all of this will be automatically calculated in the Capacity Planner Excel template. And there are also more charts to visually show the difference as well. There is a calendar sheet where you can actually see each resource and then their surplus or deficit or capacity or demand. So you, it gives you a lot of flexibility on what you want to see. You can also look at something at a weekly level, daily, monthly, quarterly, or annual. Both the dashboard and the calendar have ways to filter. So I can only look at one project at a time or one resource or two resources or two projects. So you have slicers which you can slice the data by. And this also applies to the dashboard sheet where you can slice or filter the data. So it's very, very flexible and customizable uh, as well. So now let's see specifically what we are going to do in this short video is how do you assign a resource to multiple projects? So the reason why um, we have to kind of think about that scenario is because in many places, a single resource will work on multiple projects. And so the by default, for example, if you look at project planner one, this project planner is going to work eight hours a day during the weekdays assigned to a project management skill group. So he or she can actually do project management related tasks and assigned to a project, project A. That's great, but if project planner two is another resource, but that resource, let's say, wants to be uh, assigned to multiple projects at the same time. So the way I've set up here is the approach that I'm talking about in this video, where you can split a resource into two. So instead of writing project planner two, I'm writing project planner 2A and then 2B. So I have created two resources, even though it's the same person, in this template I've created them as two separate resources. And by splitting them, I also have to make sure that I split the hours. So for example, seven hours for project A, one hour per day for project B. So in this case, I am saying the project planner 2 as a person is gonna spend seven hours every weekday for project A related tasks, and then one hour a day for project B related tasks. Uh, so these seven and one could be anything according to your business scenario. So you could have four and four hours, so equally split between two projects. Or you may have three projects wherein you may have to create project planner to C and assign maybe a couple of hours to project C. So uh, I hope you get the point that you can take this approach and then assigned to multiple projects, more than two, and then also split the work hours accordingly. So this is how we're gonna set this up to 
enable capacity planning for a single resource assigned to multiple projects. Now, once we do that, when you go into vacation or overtime, please make sure that you also, uh, when you when this person is going to take uh, time off uh, vacation or is going to do overtime, you also have to take care that the two split resources are handled accordingly. For example, even though the person, uh, it's a single person, Project Planner 2, is going to be uh, on vacation for eight hours on 16th July, I actually have to uh, enter them twice as 2A and 2B, and then reduce the capacity by minus seven hours for Project A, and then this is the one hour uh, reduction for Project B. So you have to kind of do this so that the capacity is correctly entered for both 2A and 2B. So this is something that you need to uh, pay attention when you're doing these type of split resources kind of scenario. Okay, now when you go to the demand sheet, um, now you will actually create separate tasks for pro, uh, 2B and 2A, uh, and then the assignment of the project gets automatically done because the green cells or the green column cells are calculated. So if I choose 2B, it is gonna automatically take project B. If I'm going to assign a task to 2A, then it automatically assigned to project A. So by doing this now, each um, of the 2A and 2B can have their own separate tasks and we are able to report on them um, in that uh, way. And then when we go to the dashboard, now actually you will see um, resource uh, project planner 2A and 2B are considered separate resources and each of them may be under, unutilized or, or underutilized or overutilized. In this sample data I have 2A and 2B, both are uh, underutilized and they have some extra hours and uh, you can see that there are 139 hours for 2A and then 9 hours for 2B um, and when you roll them up under skill group or project they're going to be correctly representing the capacity versus demand. So one thing that you will come across is uh, uh, the question would be this is one person project planner 2 but they're getting split as 2A and 2B, so I'm not able to see what is the overall uh, capacity versus demand for that employee. Um, so in order to do that, so you can now filter resource plan, uh, sorry, project plan 2A, and then click on control, um, and then click on 2B. So control and then click actually adds more selections to the slicer. So now 2A and 2B, I've selected both of them, and totally, um, you can see that there is there are 168 hours of capacity, 20 hours of demand, so there's surplus, the utilization is 12%, and so this is just for Project Planner 2A and 2B, and this is how I can know what's the total for that Project Planner 2. Since we have split them as two, uh, two resources, this is the way you can see the overall thing. So this is currently the way you can use this template to assign a single resource to multiple projects. In the future versions of this template, I'll definitely think about uh, more efficient and uh, better methods to assign a single resource to multiple projects, but this is currently how you can do in this version of the template. And just to recap, you if the uh, specific resource is gonna be working on multiple projects, create them as two separate resources in this case, the Project Planner 2 is going to work on two projects. So I've split them as 2A and 2B and assigned them to two different projects. And when you enter the work hours capacity, make sure that you split so that the total is the total that the uh, resource or the uh, employee will be available for. So in this case, eight hours a day. So I've split it as seven and one. And uh, when you enter vacation, make sure that you enter the vacation for both 2A and 2B. Similarly, if you are entering overtime, uh, enter the overtime for 2A or 2B, depending on you know where that extra time is going to be spent on. And then when you're entering demand, you will enter the task separately for 2A and 2B, and the project will automatically be assigned uh, based on what we entered in the resources. And then the dashboard will now give you the resource level uh, split, and then if you want to see the total for the resource, then you can uh, use the slicer to summarize it that way. Now, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. 
and I will see you all in the next episode of Ask Your Excel Question. Thank you very much for watching.